Yo, brother. It's time for us to start talking the real, man. We've been sugarcoating too much. We've got to start calling everything out for what it is. Hey, guys. Today, I want to introduce you to a new set of CNC pedals for your wheels. Now, these are made by Adam Guzik. I hope I'm pronouncing your last name correctly, Adam. He uh, lives and works in uh, San Diego, about 90 miles south of me, Southern California. And uh, he's relatively new to uh, EUCs. And like a lot of us who fall into this passion that have uh, skills outside of EUC writing, uh, we look for ways to apply those skills to uh, the EUC world. And in Adam's case, he ha is business and uh, allows him access to high-end uh, machining equipment, including CNC equipment. So, of course, he looked for ways to uh, use his knowledge and uh, hardware, and he's uh, been working a lot on um, pedal designs. And he's working with uh, a lot of local riders, uh, pro-level riders, I would say, uh, to uh, come up with the best design. And uh, this would probably be uh, his standard design right now. And I'm calling these bestoke pedals, meaning that uh, he manufactures these on a, a low production um, quantity level. So they're not, uh, they're not designed and then built in China and uh, shipped over here in, in mass. And there's nothing wrong with those, but uh, these are a bit more custom. And he uh, offers uh, different varieties of these. Uh, see if I can post a picture up here of a similar set, but they're much smaller and they're optimized for uh, uh, trail riding, where you want to do a lot of pedal clipping, or uh, racing, where you don't want to do a lot of pedal scraping. And, uh, and uh, these are being used by more and more uh, riders in Southern California, and they're migrating to other parts of the country right now. So uh, let me pull the camera in and show you a closer look at these. All right, well, as you can see, this is a typical honeycomb CNC uh, pedal design. And in this case, it uses these cone-shaped set screws. Now Adam gives you these really long ones. So if you want, for instance, uh, NY Tarzan, some of you guys know, he likes to have these really sticking up high, super aggressive. Me, no, I, I, I like them uh, closer to that, I think. And uh, so he's, you'll, get, you'll get the bag of hardware, everything you need to put them in. And of course, um, I haven't actually put Loctite in here, but you're just gonna just gonna use some Loctite, put a drop in each hole, and then uh, you really don't need a tool to insert these. Just use your fingers. These things are so long. But once the Loctite takes hold and they f firm up, you can use the provided uh, Allen wrench, the axis from behind to adjust the length of the set screw. So that is nice. Uh, now, what you're looking at right here, I would say is somewhere between the prototype and what he's actually uh, uh, sending out to people. So these are kind of rough, a rough set, and he was very nice uh, to offer these to me. And I'm going to install these actually on my Master Pro, which I'll show you uh, very soon. So these are compatible with all current uh, Gatway wheels. They're also compatible with the Sherman and the Sherman Max. Of course, not with the Sherman S, because they went like the King Song S22. They went with a new pedal hanger design, which is a pain in the butt for everyone who has custom pedals. But I'm sure, I'm sure Adam's going to come up with a, a set that'll be compatible with the S. You can adjust the dihedral angle of the pedals, how much, what kind of angle they they set at. Uh, so that is great. And 
and uh, the now the, this pair had a preliminary access point here for the, your magnet but these actually do not depend on magnets at all uh, for the uh, positioning of the pedals so let me show you how that works okay here are the rods now by the way these are not made from stainless steel and they're not made from titanium they're actually made from chromium fun fact chromium is the hardest metal on planet earth <laughs> so I don't think these are going to break on you now you'll notice at the end is uh, the rod is a little bit thicker diameter and that's sized to stop the washers and uh, so when you install this pushing in from the front you're going to place one washer here and if you have room on your pedal hanger to put the second washer do that but if not all you need for sure is the one washer here so it's going to go through the pedal hanger and you're going to be using the grub screw to push the rod and at some point it's going to start coming out and it's going to be hitting the washer and pushing the washer against the pedal hanger and then that is how you will adjust the tension for the pedal all right let me uh let me install this on my master pro Put the first washer in. That's always the easy one. I do have room for the other washer. So I will use that. But again, you don't need to. the grub screw put some um, Loctite on that blue Loctite again no grub screw on this side and thread it until things start tightening up it's loose Tightening up, applying a little more pressure, and that's it. Make it as tight as loose as you want. So now, if you have large, uh, you know, power pads sticking out, you can't put it all the way up. It just doesn't matter. It sticks wherever you put it. So, really slick design. I think they look cool too. I want to show you pedals relative to the stand stock uh, Gatway pedals now. So you can see they're, they're uh, roughly the same size. I'd say they're a little bit more narrow. And again, there are different sizes of these uh, pedals. Now, I also want to point out that, at least on my Master Pro, they will not go f flatter than what they are right now. For me, it, that's perfect dihedral angle. Uh, but if you like your pedals flat, these may not work for you. But when you re reach out to um, Adam, that would be a question you could ask him, and maybe he can uh, provide uh, a version which uh, lie flatter. All right, <laughs> these are going to be working great for me. Really grippy. You know, the Gateway uh, stock pedals, I think, are the best. Uh, pedals being made by any EUC manufacturer now. Uh, I don't think anyone would disagree with me on that. Uh, but 
these kind of spikes are even better. There's more of them and they're pointier. Uh, I guess it depends on how you like your, your uh, spiked pedals. And by the way, you might have noticed that there's a lip on the close-up in the previous video. Adam machined that in to the pedals so you can more easily kick down your pedal when you're ready to ride. So built-in pedal kickers. <laughs> um, now I'm going to try, hopefully not in the too distant future, get a set of the small pedals which are optimized for trail riding or racers. And they also have his uh, new uh, uh, metal finish that he's applying on his, uh, the ones he's shipping out. Uh, otherwise, uh, check out the description for a link to the manual that he created for these pedals. And uh, if you want to uh, get yourself a set of these, reach out to Adam through uh, the link below. Uh, basically, you'll be communicating with him through his uh, Telegram uh, channel. And uh, if you trust me, you can totally trust Adam with your money. Uh, he's a great guy, and uh, he will treat you good. All right, guys, hope you found this uh, video useful, and until next time, safe riding.